Cape Horn is the southernmost headland of the Tierra del Fuego archipelago of southern Chile. and is located on Hornos Island. It's not the most southerly point of South America, which is the Diego Ramirez Islands, but Cape Horn marks the northern boundary of the Drake Passage and marks where the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet. I learned that Cape Horn was discovered and first rounded in 1616 by a Dutchman who named it after the city of Horn, H-O-O-R-N, in the Netherlands. It was only in 1624 that the Horn was discovered to be an island and not a cape. As you can see, it's not too cold, and Stu is wearing his Cape of Good Hope t-shirt from the tip of Africa as he visits the tip of South America and Cape Horn. We're at Cape Horn this morning, and the plan is to go up there later. Our group leaves at 10.30, some people leave at 9, and I do feel a slight mist. Almost ready to go ashore, I've got on my boots, my waterproof pants, a couple base layers underneath, and the jacket that the ship gave us. Just missing the life preserver that we needed every time we left the ship. This is the ready room where we didn't get on this launch, so we have to wait okay, for the next okay. one. This is a boot washer. When we come back, we have to stand in that so they can clean off the boots and then onto this pad of disinfectant stuff. Okay, this is the boot washing station. Get in off the machine. And then step down onto this. Okay. No foreign stuff coming on board this ship. These nice young men are here to help us board the Zodiac boats to go ashore. We are leaving the dock in our nifty little Zodiac boat. That's what they look like. Our ship as we sail away and see all the white stuff on the rocks it's not snow it's actually just the uh, native stone probably granite where it's black it's where the it's wet The expedition team members arrived early and set up this nice walkway for us and helped us get off the boats. After getting off the boat, we faced this long staircase to get up to the top. Here's a nice viewing platform, and here's some footage that I shot from this platform. Here's our ship with some other... The Zodiac boat's headed this way. Here's the staircase. I did not stop and take pictures, but I did stop several times. Some steps are tall and some are short. And while these aren't ski boots, they're heavy and unwieldy. But let's see what else is up here. Cabo de Hornos National Park is a protected area that was designated a biosphere reserve by UNESCO in 2005. 
the world's southernmost national park, is located 12 hours by boat from Puerto Williams. The park was created in 1945 and covers 156,000 acres. The Cape lies within Chilean territorial waters, and the Chilean Navy maintains a station on Horn Island, consisting of a residence, utility building, chapel, and lighthouse. It was quite a hike to get over to that monument of the albatross, so I passed and let Stu take pictures for me. Here's people going to and from the sculpture of the albatross. Pretty cool. Google helped me translate this. It says, in memory of the seamen of all the nations that lost their lives, fighting against the elements in the harsh Chilean Southern Sea, erected on the initiative of the Chilean section of the captains of Cape Horn on the 500th anniversary of the discovery of America. Designed by the national sculptor Mr. Jose Balcells and financed by maritime and private entities and executed by the Navy of Chile. Solemnly inaugurated on December 5, 1992, with the assistance of the Commander-in-Chief of the Navy. Here's a poem. I am the albatross that awaits you at the end of the world. I am the forgotten soul of the dead mariners who passed Cape Horn from all the seas of the world. But they did not die in the furious waves. Today they soar on my wings towards eternity in the last crack of the Antarctic winds. And this memorial is in French. Roughly, it says, in the name of the friendly international captains, in memory of all of our passages of this cape, and erected in November of 1983. We're here with one other ship. This is a Ponot ship. We've seen these ships around the world. I think they're really pretty, but I'd rather be down here on our ship that looks more like an icebreaker. It's a flag of Chile, but it's not blowing much today, and it's wet because it started raining. And there's the lighthouse. I see there's people in the lighthouse. On the side of the lighthouse is this plaque. It's to the monumental lighthouse of the Hornos Islands. It says that this work was raised with the effort and sacrifice of Chileans convinced that everything that was present in these southern islands will contribute to the permanent strengthening of national sovereignty in the extreme south of America. And around here is a cute little church. This rustic wooden chapel translates to a star of the seas. It lies near the light keeper's house. Its doors are open for those who wish to pay their respects to all the seamen whose lives were lost in these waters. It's dedicated to the captains and crews from all over the world who have made the long journey around Cape Horn and those who have lost their lives down there. Inside the lighthouse, people have put a variety of pennants and flags. There's more on the inside, too. of Chile, as they say, and we're way down here, and there's Cape Horn. I think this was built in 1902, probably replaced something else. Elevated boardwalks help preserve the native vegetation. And here we are, headed back to the ship.